Hello to everyone and welcome to a new season and another exciting cycle of competition. We're back for more thanks to the educators, students, parents, quiz show enthusiasts, and viewers na patuloy na sumusuporta sa amin. At patuloy na naniniwala na ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Once again, it's time to put that power to the test here on Season 3 of K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Sigurado may bago na naman tayong matututunan this season, may mga bagong mukha tayong makikita, at may cliffhanger moments na namang ma-experience. Ang brain power kasi parang sport na yan. Kailangan ineensayo, laging may challenge, dapat hinahasa, and one way to do that is to go on K-Check. So samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil in the end, a new K-Check champion will be revealed. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Mika is a student of Iris Manila. She studies special needs education. Her hobbies are watching TV series, painting, and singing. Sunod naman, Yurisen is a mathematics student of UP Diliman. He loves math so much, he is a member of UP Mathematics Club and the UP DOST Scholars Association. But he has time for hobbies like listening to music and watching movies. So the man we have Kyla. Kyla's interests can be summed up in one word: food. Her bio states that she is a cookerist sis of Iris. We'll find out more later what that means. Lagi niyang niyaya ang friends niya sa Sangyu. Sarap, mm. ako. And she loves to sing too. And finally, we have IC. IC is a mechanical engineering student at UP Diliman who goes hiking to unwind and relieve stress. He also listens to K-pop groups like Blackpink, Eunice, and Twice. And of course, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Glessie Atienza of the College of Art and Letters, UP Diliman. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And of course, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology, UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, pinaghandaan namin ang season na ito. Sana kayo rin. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Each correct answer in this round is worth 10 points. Kaya naman, let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. What country boasts of two leaning towers, one in Pisa and another in Bologna? The answer is Italy. Question number two. What horse-like animal is called a jack if it is male and a jenny if it is female? Mika. Kangaroo. Kangaroo is wrong. The correct answer is donkey. Question number three. In the high school division of the UAP or the UAAP, what school do the Eaglets play for? Kayla. Um, Ateneo is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. How many sides does a rectangle have? Kayla. Four. Four is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. What movie franchise starring a black and white bear-like animal had its fourth installment released in 2024? I'm sorry, but you ran out of time. The correct answer is Kung Fu Panda. Question number six. We Can't Be Friends is the follow-up single of Yes, and which was recorded by which female singer? Mika? Ariana Grande. The correct answer is Ariana Grande. K check. Question number seven Buenos Aires is the capital of what South American country? Yuri? Argentina. Argentina is the correct answer. K check. 
Question number eight. What common color is associated with ebony, raven, and sable? The common color associated with ebony, raven, and sable is black. Question number nine. What number is twice the product of five and twelve? I see. 120. 120 is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. The ISS is a billion dollar project in low Earth orbit by a collaboration of five space agencies. What does ISS stand for? Also ran out of time. The correct answer is International Space Station. Question number 11. Vatican City is surrounded by which Italian city? The correct answer is Rome. And last but not least, question number 12. In a compass, what direction is opposite southeast? Yuri. North, northwest. Northwest is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for round one. Thank you, Attorney Gabby, for that round. So after that round, we have Yuri and Kyla tied at first place with 20 points each, followed by Mika and Icy with 10 points each. Siyempre, let's also welcome back our experts for today. So sa mga experts natin, ano po ba ang mga expectations natin for this season? Simulan so, natin kay Prof. Glessy. Masaya. Masayang mag, uh, sumagot at magkaroon ng exchange of ideas. Yes. Prof. Neil? Uh, masayang mapakinggan kung ano yung mga sagot mula sa puso ng ating mga contestants. Minsan nakakatuwa, minsan naman nakakagulat. Pero karamihan naman ay nakaka-inspire. Mula sa puso. Si mula Prof. Sa puso. Marla naman. Maliban sa dagdag na kaalaman, syempre kasiyahan din. Ayan, so puso at husay siguro ang team natin this season. Maraming salamat <laughs> sa ating experts. At we're getting closer, palapit na tayo to finding out kung sino ang ating first daily winner for this season. At susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And we are back. At ito na rin ang paborito kong portion dito sa K-Check dahil nakikilala natin ang ating mga contestants. Diba? So, umpisahan natin kay Mika. Mika, ano bang series ang sinusubaybayan mo ngayon? At bakit ka nakukumaling sa series na yan? I'm watching po currently Chinese drama, Everyone Loves People. Everyone, Everyone loves, loves you. Me. Yung oh, diba? Everyone loves her. Chinese drama. Maraming salamat, Mika. Ito naman si Yuri. Okay, so si Yuri ay isang DOST scholar. So ano ba ibig sabihin, Yuri, kapag DOST scholar? At yan ay UP Math Club. Pareho kami, na, yun din ang org ko nung college ako. Masingit lang, di ba? Math Club. Oo. Anyway. <laughs> Sige, ano, ano bang ano, ano mang requirements kapag DOST scholar ka? So, uh, you just need to uh, take an exam. Tapos, uh, dapat interested lang yung yung course na kukunin mo about science and mathematics. Science and math. And we heard na sobrang mahilig ka sa math. Favorite mo siya. Kahit na yung iba dyan, katulad ko naman, eh, takot sa math. <laughs> so ano ba meron sa math kaya na humaling ka sa math? Uh, it feels like uh, lahat ng problems is kayang masagot by logic and by processes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. lahat Kasi siguro logical na tao. Di masyado. And by the way, si... <laughs> President Danny, ex-president Danny Concepcion, DOST scholar. Ah, DOST scholar. Oh, but anyway. Every STEM, di ba, may requirement sila na I know, to, to maintain the scholarship. Yes. Kaya bilib tayo sa mga scholars natin. Mabuhay kayo. So now, Kyla, it's now your moment to shine. Pag-explain mo nga sa amin yung Kukaris Sis yes. na binanggit mo sa bio mo. Um, mahilig po kasi ako magluto. And since parang yung mga trending po na... Um, 
words ngayon, TikTok is, parang ganun po, parang ganun po siya. So may vlog ka na ba na nag um, Reels. Yeah. Reels. Reels. Yung may iksi na vertical, di ba? Okay, maraming salamat sa'yo, Kaila. Sana matikman natin ang luto mo next time. Okay? Ito naman si IC. So two things yung gusto namin malaman sa'yo, IC. Ano bang meron sa hiking at nare-relieve ka mula sa stress? A ano nga ba ang kinaka-stress mo lately? Uh, yung meron sa hiking is nakaka-refresh yung mga makikita mo, mga puno and mga tanawin din. And minsan may falls din after mag-hike. Uh, yung nakaka-stress siguro sa ACADS and other things po. Ganun. Mga Under quiz show daw quiz show. na stress So mag-hiking ka after this. <laughs> Akit sa agad mamaya. <laughs> So, maraming salamat sa at lahat ng ating mga contestants. And now, it's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize because correct answers in this round are worth 20 points each, but you could lose 10 points if you answer incorrect. So, let's, let's begin. begin. Question number one. In physics, what letter is the symbol for 9.8 meters per second squared? Yuri. G. G is K check. Question number two. In order to protect itself from earthquakes, Taipei 101 uses pendulums. In what country is Taipei 101 the tallest skyscraper? Kaila. Taiwan. Taiwan is... Okay, check. Question number three. Abs is short for what muscle of the body? Yuri. Abdominal muscle. Abdominal muscle is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In what country in Southeast Asia did the Siamese cat originate? The correct answer is Thailand. From the word Siam, di ba? Sa Thailand yan. Okay, next question. Question number five. The electronic duo Daft Punk collaborated with which male singer in their 2016 hit song, Starboy? The correct answer is The Weeknd. Alam niyo ba yun? The Starboy. Okay, good. <laughs> Question number six. In April 2024, the JWST discovered hundreds of free-floating planets in the Orion Nebula. If JW means James Webb, what does the ST stand for? Yuri. Space Telescope. Space Telescope is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What do you call the outer layer of the Earth where mountains that date back 400 million years were discovered in Europe in 2024? The correct answer is crust. Question number eight. What theorem in math states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. Yuri. Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem is correct. K okay, check. Question number nine. Which subatomic particle with a negative electrical charge discovered by J.J. Thomson has the smallest mass of any charged particle? I see. Electron. Electron is correct. K okay, check. Question number ten. What do you call a musical piece composed from parts of existing pieces played one after another like some TikTok remixes? I see. Remix. Remix is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is medley. Question number 11. Which American comedian starred in the movies School of Rock? King Kong, Nacho Libre, and High Fidelity. The correct answer is Jack Black. Last question for this round, number 12. In July 2023, 
the tomb of which great 4th century Macedonian king and military genius was claimed to have been discovered in Egypt. The correct answer is Alexander the Great. And that ends round number two. Thank you very much, Juice. And after that round, we have Yuri in the lead, talagang bumawe at 100 points, followed by Kyla with 40, Icy with 20 points, and Nika with 10 points. Right, up next naman, ang pinakahinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa Take Check! At points recap muna tayo in the lead man. Si Yuri ngayon ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Also in this round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and the answer but not the letter only. Remember sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan and this is your last chance Para humabol. Kaya naman, good luck and let's begin! And to kick off the ultimate pagalingan round, Prof. Glessy. Thank you. Ito ang unang tanong natin. Naging paksa ang pagkain ito ng isa sa pinakasikat na kwento sa Ingles ni NVM Gonzalez. Paborito itong pamatid gutom anumang oras. Ano ang tawag sa popular na pagkain Pinoy na ito? Letter A, panderegla. Letter B, pandelimon. Letter C, pandesal. Letter D, panderosa. And letter E, pandebuhay. Yuri, letter C, pandesal. Ang, ta ang tamang sagot ay letter C, pandesal. Okay, check. Prof. Neil. Ano ang gawad na ibinibigay ng Republika ng Pilipinas sa mga dayuhang nagtaguyod ng mayabong na ugnayang diplomatiko sa bansa? Letter A, gawad mabini. Letter B, gawad romolo. C, Order of Kalanchao, D. Order of Sikatuna, E. Order of Tuan Masyayka. Yuri, gawad mabini. Mali. Anyone can steal? Nagsimula ang gawad noong 1953 sa panahon ni Pangulong Elpidio Quirino. Ilan sa mga ginawaran ay sina Shang Kai-shek, Lee Kuan Yew, at Barack Obama. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Order of Sikatuna. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Prof. Marla. Buta ni tayo. In plants, what is the function of meristematic tissue? A, to provide support and mechanical strength. B, to conduct water and nutrients throughout the plant. C, to store carbohydrates and other nutrients. D, to produce new cells for growth and development. E, to protect the plant from pathogens and herbivores. Meristematic tissues, ito yung mabilis mag-divide. So their function is Letter D, to produce new cells for growth and development. Second round, Prof. Glessy. Yes. This ancient Chinese martial arts form is characterized by slow meditative movement for health and self-defense. Its philosophy stresses the natural balance in all things and the need for living in spiritual and physical accord with the patterns of nature. What do you call this martial arts form? Letter A, Wushu. Letter B, Arnis. Letter C, Kata. Letter D, Tai Chi Chuan. 
and letter E, none of the above. Yuri. Letter E, none of the above. The answer is wrong. Anyone can steal? Baila. Letter D, Tai Chi Kwan. The correct answer is Tai Chi Chuan. Okay, check. Prof Neil. Maglakbay naman tayo sa ASEAN. Which country do the cities of Danang, Yue, and Sapa belong? Letter A, Cambodia. Letter B, Malaysia. Letter C, Myanmar. Letter D, Thailand. Letter E, Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh ay ang mga pangunahing lungsod ng bansang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Vietnam. Prof. Marla. In geology, what is the main agent of mechanical weathering in desert regions? A. Wind B. Water C. Temperature fluctuations D. Ice E. Plant roots I see. A, wind. Correct answer is A, wind. Okay, check. Prof. Glessy. Thank you. Third round. Ang grupong ito ang naging sanayan ng mga artistang sumikat sa mga dula sa Broadway. Tulad dina Lea Salonga, Monique Wilson, Junix Inosian, at marami pa ang iba. Ano ang pangalan ng theater group na ito? Letter A, UP Repertory Company. Letter B, Tula Ang UP. Letter C, Theater Arts Guild of the Philippines. Letter D, Repertory Philippines. And letter E, Tanghalang Pilipino. Yuri. Letter B, Tula Ang UP. Answer is wrong. Anyone can steal? Correct answer is letter D, Repertory Philippines. Prof. Neil, tingnan natin kung mag-aabot-abot ang mga scores natin dito sa round na to. Sino ang bayaning Pilipino na kinikilala bilang unang Foreign Affairs Minister o Secretary ng Bansa? Letter A, Felipe Calderon. Letter B, Emilio Jacinto. Letter C, Apolinario Mabini. Letter D, Pedro Paterno. Letter E, Trinidad Pardo de Cabrera. Kaila. Letter B, Emilio Asinto. Mali. Pwede pa mag-steal. Okay, ang tamang sagot, ay yung isa pang utak. Ang sagot ni Kaila ay ang utak ng katipunan. Ang tamang sagot ay ang utak ng himagsikan. Dapat letter C, Apolinario Magin. So, luhaan pa rin si Prof. Ni. Tama. <laughs> At medyo nakahinga-hinga ng konti si Yuri kasi humiwalay na naman ang mga score. Prof. Marla. Science ulit. What is the function of the condenser in a light microscope. A. To adjust the intensity of light reaching the specimen. B. To focus light onto the specimen. C. To magnify the image of the specimen. D. To hold the objective lenses in place. E. To collect light scattered by the specimen. Correct answer is B, to focus light onto the specimen. Prof. Glessy, and I believe this is our last round for this Ultimate Pagalingan Challenge round. Importante ang strukturang ito para sa mga mandaragat. Dahil ito ay nagsisilbing tanda at liwanag sa mga nasa laot. Tinatawag itong lighthouse sa Ingles. Ano ang tawag dito sa wikang Tagalog? 
Letter A, liwanag. Letter B, tahanan. Letter C, parola. Letter D, lantern. And letter E, none of the above. Kaila. Letter C, parola. The correct answer is letter C, parola. K-check. Naku, ayan na nga. Nangyayari na nga ang kinakakatakutan ni Yuri. Nagtay na si Yuri at si Kaila. Pero may two questions pa. Pero may two questions pa. Exciting, no? Pang-cliffhanger itong moment na ito. <laughs> Huling tanong mula sa akin, uh, si Emmanuel Macron ay presidente ng anong bansa sa Europa? Letter A, Austria. Letter B, France. Letter C, Germany. Letter D, Italy. Letter E, Spain. Yuri. D, Italy. Mali. So, nagsilbi si Macron bilang presidente ng bansang ito mula 2017. Siya ang kauna-unahang presidente sa matagal na panahon sa bansang ito na walang suporta mula sa mga socialist o conservatives. Okay, tamang sagot ay letter B, France. Dapat yung merong konting labas sa ilong. Macron. French. Macron. Okay, ito na, di ba? Sino ang magiging winner natin today? We will find out with our last question from Prof. Marla. In molecular biology, which enzyme is responsible for synthesizing RNA from a DNA template during transcription? A. DNA polymerase B. RNA polymerase C. DNA ligase D. Helicase E. Topoisomerase I see. B. RNA polymerase. Sigurado ka? The correct answer is B. RNA polymerase. K-check! And that's it for our K-check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Kyla, our K-check daily winner with a final score of 85 points. So we'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for our spot in our semifinals. Congratulations, Kyla. Thanks to Mika, Yuri, and Icy for joining us today. Especially si Yuri. Naku, napaka-upsetting ng upset na yan. And also to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.